So it wouldn't be right to start 2022 without it being involving the first couple of the Marvel Universe. Welcome back to Backyard Toy Adventures. And I'm your host <laughs> and uh, the Toy Man. So I'm here. I'm going to show you um, the, uh, the figures. Um, I'm going to pop these ones open. And I'm going to have um, Peggy Carter. And uh, don't get him, don't get her confused with Sharon Carter. <laughs> uh, she was a blonde gal. I think she came out in uh, one of the other Marvel movies. I think it was, had to have been Civil War, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Age of Ultron? No, it had to be um civil war anyway and that was uh the knee her niece anyway so they actually had this is uh from the what if series um on disney plus and i just watched the uh um the cartoon and uh to see what was going on and to, to uh, see what the ending was and if you haven't seen it it's on disney plus and they actually used uh, Haley uh, Atwell, um, the actress who played Peggy in the Marvel Universe, in MCU. And she came down and did the voiceover for her character. And uh, that she got, they had gotten the perfect character, a perfect actress to come down and play that part. Because man, oh man, I tell you, if you haven't seen Agent Carter, now this cartoon I, you know you're you you know you could pass on it you, i mean you don't have to watch this it was nice to see you can see the figure i enjoy collecting the figures but bottom line if you haven't seen agent carter you stop the video and you would go and watch that uh series because let me tell you uh that's a fun watch and it comes out um and uh the, the actor, right off the top of my head, I can't remember his name. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you. You're definitely going to go and watch Agent Carter. <laughs> anyway, and that takes place, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, that takes place back when, uh, back when she, what, what was going on in between uh, the time that, uh, that Captain America was frozen in the snow. So, here we go. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, show you the box art on the back. And I'll read it to you real quick. With the Super Soldier Program in peril, Peggy Carter bravely participates by becoming Captain Carter. And uh, you collect all these figures, and it helps you build the Watcher. That's the Watcher. He can't do anything. He could just tell you that he's there, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, but uh, you collect all these figures in this line, except you don't have to collect uh, the zombie version of Captain America. Um, uh, but uh, it's one of the one of the best figures of the year, uh, so definitely recommend it. Uh, and so I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. I'll be right back and. Uh, let you take a look at it. And I also have in this cartoon is the zombies or the Hydra stomping uh, version of Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers uh, is the Hydra stomper. And uh, we'll show you how to check. We'll take a look at him real quick and we'll, we'll pop him open and I'm all set up for you, so you don't have to hear all the crunching and all the cranking. We'll be right back. So here are the figures out of their plastic prisons. And uh, Haley Atwell, the, the actress that played uh, uh, Captain Carter in the, uh, in the cartoon, um, I really was, I didn't pay no attention to her until... I watched um, that other 
show she was in. She was in uh, Agent Carter. And that was based upon the time between um, when, um, back in the 40s, when um, Captain America was supposedly in his, in his um, frozen state. Anyway, so the, all the things that she did back then. And it's a really good series. I definitely recommend it. Uh, you might want to go back and if you haven't finished watching it, or I definitely recommend it. It's on Disney Plus. So here's the figure, and there's a good look at her. Good old fashioned look at her, and you can really see the detail they put into it, and the paint that they did. They gave her different paint, and they gave her the. She's a. English. So they give her the, the flag of England for her for her uh, costume. And I uh, should like that how they gave her the the hairdo, uh, the like back in the nineteen forties. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. And uh, of course, that's why her hair was. And uh well here it's brown. I think I think in the movies it was black. I have to go back and look at it now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, yeah, they gave her a, a shield, and the shield is somewhat smaller than the Captain America shield. And uh, the articulation on it um she's got a bend at the knee. At the ankle, she's got a she's got a little ab crunch there. Not much, it's a little bit. She could turn her head all the way around, three sixty. <laughs> all the way up like cheering <laughs> and uh, here's the back and she can go all the way around with her arm she can go this high this this much to the side and her leg pretty nice figure I think it's pretty cool and uh for the accessories, of course, it's just the shield for her, and then it came with the two arms that you that goes with the build a figure that you get all the other figures, and it's uh, the watcher. So I'm back, <laughs> and now we get to see the. The Hydro Stomper. And uh, he's a lot bigger than most figures. He stands about, oh God, must be about 12 inches tall. <laughs> be honest with you. He's a big one. Anyway, does it look like Captain Carter wants to stand over there in the corner? Anyway, so you can see he's got pretty cool. Looks like he's got his head. Does his head want to go all the way around? Yeah, it does. It does a 360. Looks that far up. Looks that far down. Looks left. Looks right. Now, does he have a, yeah, he has a hip or a, uh, pivots all the way around. Looks his arms pretty good. Goes all the way around. And it's not impaired by this little piece here. He's got an American 
star for it's like a U.S. Army, like a color for the U.S. Army, like that color from like the, the old Army tank tanks and Jeeps and stuff from World War II and Vietnam. Pretty nice. It's got a lot of armor on it. Put his arms all the way out to the sides. That's pretty nice. It looks like he's got some sort of antenna on the back. And I really like these little hand grips all along his body so you can put you can you can hold on to him you can put figures clinging on to him while he's either fighting him or or uh, saving him and uh, his legs go just got to bend at the knee right here at this joint here this one's a little stiff that one's a little looser, but he's not. This one's a little loose. Not too bad. Nothing to worry about there. You bend his feet a little bit. And on the back, he's got a little hole on his back. And his accessories, he's a deluxe figure, by the way. And uh, the deluxe figures, a little more expensive. And it came with this backpack here. It helps. And it's like a jet propulsion system so he could fly. Because uh, in this cartoon, he doesn't fly. <laughs> well, he flies, but he, he has to use this system to... Um, fly anyway yeah came with that that's accessories he also came with these open hands you can see but if you want to use closed fists you could do that as well what I do like is that just hold, by holding him he feels like a transformer and your first instinct is to try to transform him into a a ship. <laughs> and what I like too is the fact that his face kind of reminds me. Uh, first of all, um, reminds me of Tony Stark. Or yeah, Tony Stark when he came out of that uh, that cave. That first suit. That's what the headpiece looks like. It also reminds me. I don't know why. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to dig my. Um, Iron Giant figure out for us to take a look at, to compare it another time, and uh, see how that looks in comparison, because that, that reminded me of that. Anyway, this little backpack piece is what uh, it's pretty cool. It's got some maneuverabilities. You can you can set it up this way now. I couldn't find out how to put Captain Carter on there from her not falling over much because she goes on his back. Well, um, the only way I did it, uh, I was able to open it up this way oh, as it falls. I'm gonna put it back on. Okay, get it back in there. This is the only way I found the best way, really. So, I have to bend her legs out this way and kind of use this piece here as a seat. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to open her legs up a little bit. Actually get her down in there like that. Close her off like this to kind of like lock her in. Now she's locked in. <laughs> That's what I liked about it. And uh, so then now we have the Hydra Stomper locked in with Captain Carter. And uh, 
And uh, they can get to doing their business. Get to rocking. That's what I, I really, I really dig this. I mean, I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I do now. Um, but I like these figures. <laughs> My cat's over here. I have an inside cat and an outside cat. One's feral and one's in the, a petting cat. But I do pet the feral cat from time to time, but I wash up really good after that. But she's one. Uh, anyway, so this is, yeah, I really dig this figure now. I like, I like this. It's pretty nice. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I hope you did. And uh, if you decide on get on getting Marvel figures, oh man, <laughs> yeah, it's a long haul. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you plan to get uh, uh, any Marvel figures, if you have any collected um, Marvel figures, let me know. Send pictures to me. You can catch me on um, Instagram or. Uh, Twitter and at Toyman100 or on Facebook at Disney Infinity Avengers um, uh, Facebook group. Okay? Alright, well, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and let me know what you liked about these figures and if you're going to pick them up. Alright, thanks a lot. See you next time on Backyard Toy Adventures.